okay so let's take a look at how you can install ionic framework so first thing we go to ionicframework.com and here you see the instruction to install ionic key so copy this and then you can go to the directory where you wish to install your ionic project so first thing let's install the ionic globally once we do that next thing is we will be running the ionic project for that we will use another command so give this one a time to install ionically depending on your internet connection this may take a while usually there are plenty of packages that will be fetched and installed as you can see you have application added here now next thing is we'll clear this and then go to the directory where i wish to install this so right click open your command prompt or powershell here right now what i'm going to do is type in ionic and then i will start the project right and now here it will ask you that you wish to create app creation wizard say yes to proceed with wizard now it will ask you what type of template you want for your project name and other questions right so here we type in the name of app let's say my app then pick icon you can pick any icon of your choice let's say something like pumpkin then image a bit dark then you can choose list or menu let's go with menu then choose react click continue right now it should ask you to log in right if you want to skip this what you can do instead is close this come here right clear now here i'm going to use ionic start here you can choose to say no if you want to continue with glee now here we will choose react right next thing we can name our project right we can keep it blank list or you can use side menu let's go with side menu for a change because everybody goes with blank or list so let's go with side menu right now it will start the download and it will proceed with package installation okay so you can also go with app creation wizard but it will require to sign up there and then connect your local and with the cloud version for downloading connecting those package dependencies and whatever that you create on cloud will be synced to your desktop as well so if you choose to go that route then you can go with app creation wizard otherwise you can stick with this default okay now here you see our app is created and we can go to cd then my app right now here we can type in ionic serve which should open one browser instance as you can see it has opened a window in microsoft edge and took us to location localhost 8100 right now here you can see it has created a sample app with side menu where you see this menu basically is showing us the pages of a mailbox right so you can edit all of this replace this with your own code and you can customize further right so what we can do now is open this particular directory in visual studio code right 
so what we can do right click open with VS code right so this should open a project with all the files within it and as a folder it will be able to expand right now as you can see it has shown us the source file that says index tsx then our public and node modules folder right these are some of the things that you would find within this particular folder now the thing is you don't have to explore through just studio code you can always go to this manually open it in any other text editor or even in visual studio or any big id that you know right so basically your project will contain a lot of .ts file which are your types script file right then you have public folder where you have index and manifest pages finally you have node modules all the modules that are required to build this app are there right so if you go on editing them you would be able to see them in their respective folders so you get the idea how to create an app and then open it as a project in visual studio code also you get to open this as a web project and you get to access it through specific port on local host server okay now for second example let's take a look at one of the blank designs right so to do that we will minimize and go to this directory where we will start with ionic start right now here we'll not be using the app creation wizard say no again here we'll have to select our framework you can choose view or react then simply give your project a name let's say i create another project with name my demo right hit enter now here i want to start with blank project the more template files you add longer it will take to load your project and create those dependencies file right so to get started quickly i am using now as you can see it will take a few more minutes or seconds depending on how many files to download then it will download all dependencies and will start the project like i have discussed before you can see it will ask you to create ionic account you can say no again and then it will create the directory right and here once we are there we just have to go to this particular directory and then type in directory name now simply use ionic serve okay so it will start the scripts and it will open your browser and now as you can see it has opened a new window in browser and also on localhost 8100 as you can see it has created this blank app right it says ready to create an app start with ui components so we'll just have to drag those components and create our app right so first thing will go with opening this particular folder in our VS code again right and as you can see we already had one project in another window and this project here right so as you can see with blank project however you have lesser files right you have components page themes right there is also a public folder where you start with index HTML you just have to edit this for any default that you wish to change right also you will have assets here like your icon and other files similarly node modules and with your typical blank project you will have the same amount of 
modules that you will get with any other barring few more additions that you get with your typical other templates but you get the idea how to create a blank project also create one side menu project in your anic Glee, right so you can go ahead and modify the existing blank project and proceed further with the development in Ionic.